Hey guys, this is Chris Kermis and today we're going to go and explore the islands of the Persian Gulf. We're heading to the largest of the islands with incredible geological features, diverse mangrove forests, a fishing village stood still in time and a bustling capital city. It seems to have it all. Come with me as we explore the Iranian islands of the Persian Gulf. Welcome to Keshma. Let's go and explore. So we got this pretty awesome vehicle for our trip around Keshma. And of course Keshma being the biggest island in the Persian Gulf, there's quite a lot to explore. So we got quite a full day. And this is the Stars Valley. So it's originally called that because it was thought in the old days that this was formed from a meteor crashing into the earth. It's actually not that at all. That's just proven now. It's just from the weather effects over time, but the name still sticks to this day. So this is thought to be about 5 million years old and the weathering effects, it's over such a long period. It's actually just the same as the Kalutes that we saw in the desert. And that's a really nice opening teaser for the incredible geology of Keshma Island and around. Wow, what a start. All right, so having battled the hornets to get a can of lemonade, we're gonna go to the mangroves. And there it is, the elusive Iranian camel. I've crossed far and wide across Iran and this is the first camels I've seen. So did you know that there's actually mangrove forests in the Persian Gulf? I certainly didn't until now, but hey, we're going to one right now. And this is it, the entrance to the Iranian mangroves. This is really quite incredible. Who would have imagined this existed here? Ready? Oh, ready as I'll ever be. Hey. And we're on our way in this lovely little boat. So supposedly in the mangroves here, you get a lot of bird life, like a lot of the herons and these sort of birds, but also eagles around here. They mostly come around when the water's at the lower point. This is the house of the mouse. And what's, what's the mouse's house all about? So is it this type of mouse? Time swimming. Oh, like a, wa a, a water, like a, a water creature, water rodent. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so it really is the house of the mouse, or at least some sort of unknown water rodents that can swim in the water. It's so wonderfully peaceful out here, just being on this boat out in the mangroves in this incredible different part of the country. Who would have thought there's such contrast in Iran? Yeah, we've seen so much and now here we are on a boat out in a mangrove swamp. Unbelievable. There we have it. That's our little adventure into the Iranian mangroves. So, the plan. Oh, so, the plan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hold you to this. Yeah, and now we are going to the restaurant, seafood, maybe shrimp and fish, which come from the Persian Gulf. And after that, we'll go to visit the Chahku. After Chahku, the Namaktan Cave, salt, salt Cave. And after that, for the sunset, we are going to the Loft Village. This sounds absolutely perfect and delicious. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Well, we've stopped off at this little town here. So we're at the restaurant now. They sell only fish, but then what else would I want? Of course, I'm going to take fish. It's a really charming place here. It's basically just like someone's house converted into a little restaurant at the side. Perfect. I mean, this sort of place, you can often find some really great foods. I've got high hopes here. Just ordered some locally caught fish. What else am I to do around here? There's quite a few choices on the menu, but this seems like, well, it seems like a nice bet for lunch. So let's see. Okay, so we've got the fish, and this just looks absolutely incredible. I don't know what sort of fish this is, but look at this. Okay, so I've got to be honest, this is going to be a little bit challenging. I'm not quite sure how to eat a whole grilled fish with uh, simply a spoon and a fork, but let's give it a go. It looks absolutely delicious. Mmm. Well, yeah, that's some lovely fresh fish. That is absolutely fresh. Delicious. I've still got no idea what fish it is, but beautiful fresh white fish. Lovely, perfectly grilled. What's not to love? That was totally delicious lunch. Now we're going to move back to the sightseeing. So we're going to Chaku first. 
and then the Salt Caves, Namakdan. So we just turned up at Chaku, and Chaku translates to well mountain. And the reason why it's called this, so in the past people used to dig wells here to collect the rainwater, but over many, many, many years, weathering effects on these wells have resulted in them being basically big holes. And this is one of the wells from the past here, right in the middle of the canyon. No, no, she's done. She done. Okay, no, no problem. Wash your, wash your head. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's good, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Soaking in the best possible way. Well, it's not every day you get covered in well water like that, but let's venture a bit further into the canyon here. And this part of the canyon up behind, it gets too thin to even walk down, and by the time you reach the end, you can't even see the sky anymore. And down here, we see the weathering effect on the wells that I was talking about earlier, the way this place got its name. Now we're heading on the way again to the Namakdan or Salt Caves. We see these incredible rock formations as we go along the road. They must be weathered by so many years. We seem to have a bunch of camels taking up the road. Well, you don't see that at home. And we made it to the Namakdan Cave or the Salt Cave. So, Namagdan basically means containing the salt, so pretty much literal translation there. Okay, so it gets very, very dark, very, very quick in there, so I'm kitted up. I don't think I'm going to be able to film too much in there, we will see, but I'm going to go have a look at this salt cave. Okay, deep in the cave, the light's off, and this is just total darkness. Wow, that's incredible. So just by the other cave entrance here, we've got a small salt lake running out, and the salt water is 10 times more salty than seawater. You put your hand in it, and it actually feels oily from the salt. It's kind of a weird sensation. It's such a different, unique, and also tranquil place. I feel like it's almost getting cliched me saying this, but yet another amazingly different side to Iran when traveling around. Really incredible. All right, the sun's going down. There was no way we were going to make it to the loft fishing village in time, so we just cut our losses and stopped at a beach on the way back to see sundown. It gets dark so early here that, yeah, it's... It's not worth the risk. Don't want to go all that way just to find we're sitting there in the darkness. And that's it for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't be shy with that thumbs up button. I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below. And please subscribe if you haven't already. There's plenty more coming from Iran. Tomorrow and in the next video, we're going to be off to Hormuz Island, home of the Rainbow Mountains and the Blood Beach. Hope you can join me.